Hello again. One of the pleasures in my life is meeting in real life viewers of this channel. This happens surprisingly often, certainly no more than a week goes by without stopping me in the street to tell me he enjoys watching History Debunked. There was um, a day recently when I was walking through East London and four separate people stopped me, which was uh, interesting. I'm in Wales at the moment, and yesterday a guy in a charity shop asked my wife if I was Simon Webb. He was a fan of this channel, and we had a nice chat. I'm always slightly astonished by such encounters, although of course flattered that people should recognise me. It's almost like being a pop star. <laughs> what is curious is that not all these people are white, as one might perhaps expect. I've had black people too stop me and speak about the channel and although they disagree about uh, some of the stuff that I say there's no animosity and we part shaking hands and wishing each other well. The people who have a serious problem with me are not black people at all but white left wing types. Still you might say I could be inventing all these black people who don't take offence at this channel perhaps they're figments of my imagination. Hmm. The other day, somebody pointed me towards a chat room used by Nigerians in Nigeria. It's called Nara Land, Nara being the currency of Nigeria. Somebody on that site went to the trouble of transcribing a video which I made about the Yorubas being the main group in Nigeria, the main uh, ethnicity, tribal grouping. Um, responsible for scams and trickery rather than Igbos or Fulani. What do viewers suppose that Nigerians themselves made of this? After all, here I am talking about Yoruba tricksters and about Nigerian fraud. You might think that they would go bloody mad and accuse me of being a white imperialist or something. <coughs> In the description to this video, I give a link to this site so that people can see for themselves. It's true that the first person to comment after reading it said that I was a racist idiot. But then somebody quickly responded by saying, you're accusing him of racism. How fair have we treated each other within as a people or as a nation? And I hope you're also aware that tribalism is what has ruined Nigeria. In response to the same comment, somebody else said, please explain your view, at least we can all be better educated in this matter. So the fellow who thought that I was a racist idiot was not being universally agreed with. Somebody also said, lol, funny enough, he described Europe as 100% correct. This is very funny because everybody on this site is black African. Another person made a very fair point. Bias reasoning, most scams in the UK are committed by their citizens regardless of the ancestry they have. <clears throat> now that's interesting and worth thinking about. The best two comments though are as follows. It's a cultural thing. Dishonesty and backstabbing is seen as normal. Others that uphold the culture of justice and honesty are labelled as unsophisticated. Welcome to the land of Afonja. Afonja, by the way, was a king of the Yoruba a couple of centuries ago. His name is used as a shorthand reference to Yorubas. The funniest comment of all is this. And again, for uh, Afonja, read Yoruba. Everybody knows in the world that an average Afonja is a backstabber, betrayer, thief, ritualist, dirty liar, propagandist, coward, lily-livered occultist juju worshipper and the problem in Nigeria. Blimey, that's a good deal harsher than anything I said about Europe as in my video. I thought it worth drawing attention to this because it shows that although some white people may well despise me as a dyed-in-the-wall racist, this is not the general perception among black people themselves. I have yet to meet the black person who thinks that I'm racially prejudiced, which I'm not, although needless to say some are dubious about claims which I make.
I might mention that I get emails from people um, of Eritrean ancestry and uh, some nationalists, and they thank me for what I've said about their culture. I think that the people who have a real problem with this channel are a certain kind of white person rather than black people themselves. It's white people supposed to thinking that they are being right on and sticking up for black people, in other words, rather than the authentic views of real black people.